everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to look at a very cool method from ITERTOOLS, and it's group by. And I think I want to break this up into two videos because this can be tricky, and I think I, I think I want to split it up. So, all right, let's just look at it. And if you're new here, thanks for joining us. And if you've not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe and the notification bell, because we have videos coming out all the time, and we don't want you missing anything. So, all right, help itertools dot group by. So, all right. So, makes an iterator that returns. Hang on. Um, consecutive key groups from the iterable. If the key function is not specified or is none, the element. All right, that is a lot of stuff. Let's just let's just look at it. So I'm. That's why we do this channel is because pictures are worth a thousand words. Um, C C. Hang on, that's three C C and D. All right, so there's our there's our iterable, and then all right, so then we do new, and uh, iter tools dot by and give it this. So all right, then we call new, and we get our object. Now, now let's change that and put this inside a list and let's look and see what it does so now let's call new so all right here i am i'm going to do this uh for new print i i want to do this so all right so and this was in this was in a list so if i were to just this would make an iter, an iterator, and it would have these. But now, this makes, so here's the key, and here's the group. So I want you, I want you to look at this. So, all right, I give it, I give it a iterable. Then what gets generated, it goes through the key and the group. So it tells you what it is, then it gives you an iterator of what it is and it groups it. So I want to stop here because I want that to sink in. And we're going to do this a couple of different ways. So there are, so I, I really just want you to I, I want you to I want you to look at this. So let, let's rerun this. So all right. New is here it is. So we see our brackets. And if I do type on new, I get a list. But then type on new zero to tuple. And then I want you to look at this. So all right, type on new dot zero zero. Close this out to string. Now let's do this new zero one. It's an iterator, okay? Because iterators tool group. So all right, that's why I want to break this up because that this can get really confusing very very quickly. But this is a very handy tool. So it can go through and it's going to then tell you what it is, and then make an iterator of your. Let's see, X is still sitting here. There, of your iterable. So all right, 
really cool thing didn't want to spend too much didn't want to make this too big we're going to break this up into two parts so all right because there's some pretty cool stuff you can do with this so all right as always thanks for watching don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important the notification bell and please leave any comments questions are my all-time favorite any video requests below and i'll get right to them guys you guys are doing awesome with those so as always stay tuned keep watching and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.